biomedical engineering. And in 1992, I came over here, and I started uh, working in the U.S. Recently, in um, 2015, I graduated. I went to Santa Clara University, got an executive MBA, and um, so I have been uh, really enjoyed the learning, and, and God gives me a lot of blessing that uh, I was able to, um, I have a, I was working full time and then have family. My son was only like 10 years old. MBA, it was a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so um, kind of this is uh, my life in U.S. In, at a glance, right? One slide shows all. Just want to share with you my journey. And um, I started in the Santa Cruz, um, and my first job is in Santa Cruz. And uh, I, um, I worked for uh, Retech, just in um, Schaefer Road, just the west side below the university. Uh, I worked there for four years. Um, had, um, I actually had a, that was my f the first time, uh, uh, first job at the US. I learned a lot from the colleagues there. Uh, I went through some of the struggles in my life. And uh, um, when, when my family went back to uh, China, and that's 1996, um, we came back, my sister said, and, you know, I think you should go to church. You know, at that time, I really don't know any church around. Right. Actually, in, in Retech, we, I think we have some people go to church, but it was not something that I know of, and I was really my, myself with my son, and only no, very few friends, right? Basically, I don't really know too many people. And uh, well, because that time, me and my sister we were walking on the, on the beach, and she said that, and then about, uh, only about two minutes later, and I, we were trying to sit down in front of Dream Inn, sit down and find a spot to sit and so my son can go play in the ocean. And uh, we actually took, a, we kind of uh, occupied a Peggy spot. And Peggy introduced herself, say, hey, I'm Peggy. And uh, we talked to Peggy. So um, <laughs> that's how I got, I got to know Peggy. And Peggy said, well, you're welcome to visit me and I have a Bible study group. So that's how I get to know God. So I have a lot to thank Peggy um, that really got me, uh, lead me to God and really transformed my life. And, uh, give me a great, uh, I have a great family and a job, and it was really wonderful. So while, while I was joining the, the Bible study with Peggy, and we learned the Bible little by little, um, the, I, I wanted to, because my son's father was in the Bay Area, so we were trying to go move back. And um, Peggy and a few of the Bible study team members, and we prayed for my um, looking for the job. So um, I was very, thank, praise the Lord, our, answered our prayer. Um, I got two offers on the same day. That was really amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, I got a salary increase as well. I was really overjoyed. Mm -hmm. So I moved, I moved to Bay Area, in Mount, to Mountain View. I, I worked in AccuSound. Uh, this company makes the ultrasound equipment, right? That was, the, they make the best, world best ultrasound system. They're using, if you go to a hospital, <coughs> do, the, do the scan, ultrasound scan. Um, that was a really amazing experience. God answered my prayer, and really, my first experience of what this God can do for me. Okay, that's awesome. Because I, after I moved there, and I was looking for church, because I definitely want to, you know, to join the church and continue uh, learn, um, you know, learn God's teaching. And uh, I actually went to a few churches, and then um, doing my, um, uh, I have a school uh, alumni reunion, and I met a lady who is from my same school, and she goes to the Home of Christ, the fifth. So I joined, I went, that's how I started to go to the Home of Christ. And that's 1997, and um, um, I, I personally really um, experienced a lot of amazing things, and, and uh, I remember I went to Billy Graham, Graham Crochet. That day I didn't want to go, but somehow I just went. So um, I was crying, and I accepted Christ that day. Yeah, amazing, and then I continue to go to Home of Christ and then got baptized. And uh, while I was working, um, in 1998, I had some trouble with my hand because I was a, a software engineer running diagnostics. Um, I needed to, um, I was actually on the disability uh, leave for like two, two months, three months. So I was like, okay, I need to look for another job. Right, so my church um, friends, even Hong Feng knows me, and earlier, um, I joined. I joined the fellow, Shenzhou Fellowship, and also, um, also um, the other. I have a, a fellowship partner, and uh, they prayed for me. And then I was praying to find the next job that I don't have to write code a lot. Okay, so I'm really trained in double E, right? Electrical engineering. 
Um, it was amazing. I went to this uh, job fair, and then the, la the last, the, the job fair completed, and I landed at the Hewlett Packard, you know, the job booth. So I got, I got a call, and I went interview on the Christmas Eve, and then I got, I was, uh, I had a great uh, experience. Uh, later on, I found out the two, the interviewers, the people who interviewed me, the boss and my and his boss. They were all Christians. Mm -hmm. My journey, really, as a Christian, is really, really kind of a. I started growing in Christ in, in HP because we had a lot of challenges, a lot of job, a lot of work, and then me and my boss we pray at work, right? And and it just uh, since then it has been 17 years. I switched three different groups, and each of the transition was amazing. It was that. God just gave that job to me, and then I was able to take that and continue grow and learn how to work with, um, you know, people not outside of East Silicon Valley. In 19, in 2008, I become a system program manager. You can see, um, for from 1999 to 2008, I was a hardware engineer and then become program manager. Um, my boss are Christians, and then um, I 2008 because the lab was this dissolving and uh, I need to go to the next place. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really in a, I was, I prayed and I really, God gives me that peace. Everybody left HP and then went to a different company. I finished my project and then I said, okay, now it's time for me to move on. And then there's another job that waited for me and, and in there I have a, a nice um, program manager who is a Christian in Texas and we built, we, she was my sister in Christ and uh, she coached me how to work with people not in the Silicon Valley, in the different places, in Fort Collins, Roseville, Houston, Boston, or in India, in China, and really learned how to build teamwork. So I felt God gave me that wisdom, gave me the guidance, how to become a really good leader, team leader. That was awesome. And then our system, you know, after four years, um, our business was going down, and then where should I go next, right? I prayed as well. And uh, there was a new company that HP acquired, and um, there's uh, two people, or two program managers were retiring. They were my friends. And then they said, oh, we have position. Come over. In two weeks, I started over there. And that was an amazing journey because that's a startup. I never really know what startup is about. <laughs> and I really learned you know, how to bring innovation, drive, uh, uh, bring customer value, how to drive aggressive and business growth, and all of that. And, and, and um, because of it was so dynamic, I'm like, I really want to learn how to grow a business. And I went to, I prayed, and God, please help me. How should I grow? What direction should I go? And I prayed, and I went to the women's um, conference, and there I saw they have EMBA programs, and, and within a month, I joined the Santa Clara MBA, executive MBA. It was a great, amazing learning, and my VP was very supportive even uh, reduce the project, uh, take a one project away from me so I can focus. My husband really supported. So I've been working for Sweet Power, that's a rising star in storage, and has been really successful. And, and um, it's an amazing uh, journey. Just, just from my career, God really lead me through uh, you know, engine, uh, the professional development and the personal growth in leadership and in compassion in skills, communication skills, and working with others. Uh, of course, you know, I because I have a very stable job. I bought how I bought, I remarried, and I bought my house, and then my first house, and I, I um, um, have a, a new a second son, and um, and everything. My older son went to UC San, San Diego Great School, and just um, I think in general, I'm really blessed with all of the not only spiritual growth, the material, you know, everything that was going really well. Of course, today, I continue to pray to God, what should I do next? And um, God gave me a chance to be humble, to learn, to apply the MBA skills, to help HP 3 part to be successful. Um, I'd like to share just a key highlights of uh, what my personal transformation uh, has been, right? The first is really, learning to be, have, have a, a positive attitude towards life. That when I go to church, and they always look at, uh, you know, what are the good things? You know, it's just a, it's almost like a philosopher teaching. And it really helps you to, when you see the positive things and the more positive things happens around you. That was awesome. 
The other one is really to appreciate others, right? Be thankful. We always talk about giving thanks to others. That being thankful for even little things, and being thankful for things that you don't understand as well. Being thankful for people who are different from you, and that is amazing because if you want to be a leader, you need to be able to work with very different people, and um, then maybe everybody has a maybe different agenda, but they're really coming to look at what's the common goal, and that you can align and partner with, right? Um, as the proverb says, right? Um, Trust in God, Lord, with all your heart, and learn now to be on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. That is so true. That is so true. When I have questions, I pray. If I figure out my, if I try to learn from my friend, and they will say you should do some politics, or you should do this, and thinking about yourself, I'm all, I pray, and God gives me the wisdom that I should always looking at what's the right thing for the company, was the right thing for the people, for my team. And that really got me straight, right? And so no matter who is in charge, who is the VP, and I'm always right because I'm on the right path of God. That was awesome. And take the challenges as opportunity. Uh, that has, um, that's a very, um, you know, a lot of times we, when we have challenges, we're kind of getting upset. And then we're starting to say, hey God, why are you give me this? I want that, right? And, but, but when you're in the, in the challenges, and it gives you opportunity to learn, and I have definitely personal experience that. My boss said, I want you to improve your communication. I thought, what do you mean? You think that I'm not good at communication? I was really upset, right? And later on, I thought, well, you know, if I really take his words and I really work on it, I could actually do much better. So I did. Last year, I really worked on how to communicate, how to see other people's perspective, and made me, actually, I, now I see, wow, my friend said, well, you really improved. What happened to you? I said, I prayed to God, and he helped me. Right, very interesting. Um, and when, when, uh, you know, whenever time I have, whenever I have questions, I pray, because that, God answers my prayer. So, in all, is accepting Christ is really the best thing happened in my life. And um, I'm really happy that uh, people come to hear our tech and story and I hope you get to know God and then receive the blessings and the success in the future. Mm -hmm. And real quick, this is my family. The left and I married, my husband actually used to work in Santa Cruz as well. And uh, my the second son, Thomas, and he's now at a very, very Christian high school. To the right is my whole family. We're all in the US. The left is my, my dad, my mom, and, uh, and me in the middle. And then to the right my, is my sister. She's a doctor in Monterey. Uh, uh, Kamel, and uh, now part of the Stanford uh, House, and um, and all of our family become a Christian. Oh, yeah. yeah, in 2008. So our family is really blessed. We're very thankful. Now, Thank Nina, I'm wondering if you want to share any of it in Mandarin also, because we promised it was bilingual mm. today. So, okay. But I mean, maybe maybe just a little bit you, too. Huh? Oh, no, make sure. I think we are most, most everybody oh, okay. understood. Okay, good. Thank you. And next is Yay. Hongfeng. Yay.